yeah, reasons or another another word for reason is purpose. Okay, so because you have to change this to a synonym. All right. So another another uh, word for reason is purpose. So the purpose for for studying again, you need to vary your uh, vocabs. All right. So the purpose for studying, the purpose for learning. Okay, uh, the reason for learning. Um, the uh, reason for going to school, okay, or uh, what is that? The reason for uh, uh, what is that? Att uh, the reason for uh, um, uh, attending to attending to schools, okay. So you can basically vary your uh, vocabs, okay. So we have here um, how many reasons here? How many how many reasons here for education? Um, uh, Tran that you can find uh, from the graph. How many reasons of education that, does it say? Seven. Seven, right? So we have your interest in subjects, helpful for current job, enjoy learning and studying, to meet people, to gain qualifications, to improve prospects of promotion, to be able to change job. Now we can also, we can use some synonyms to change this one. Yes, because these are not names of people, okay? These are not names of places. So if if the graph doesn't show about names of people, places, year, we can change them. But if it's a name of a people, place, and year, we're going to change that, OK? But in here, we can change. For example, interest in subjects, you can say like um, uh, a passion for learning the subject, keen on learning the subject, uh, motivation, OK? motivation to learn to study so you can change that um, interest another word helpful for current job so you can say uh, you can say um, uh, what is that um, uh, useful okay useful in the present job so you can you can use the word useful or or practical okay practical all right uh, enjoy learning or studying so have fun in learning or studying found it's found it interest uh, found it's uh, fun or found it enjoyable all right so you can change the words you can change this word fun enjoyable all right or change into uh, change the word function okay have the enjoyment of studying for example all right Meet people, so you can change one to socialize, okay? Socialize, uh, expand social network, all right? And uh, some other words. To gain qualifications, to gain meaning to, to get, to obtain, all right? To get or obtain. I hope you have, uh, uh, you know this word, all right? So to get, to obtain qualification, to... Uh, to receive a degree, all right? Uh, to get a to get a, to get qualified, all right? To improve prospects for promotion. Prospect is uh, um, future possibility. Okay, uh, possibility. Prospects means possibility. So to improve prospects of promotion, it means to increase possibility of of getting to a higher position. Okay, or uh, to um, what is that? To increase the potential of being promoted, all right? Or to increase the potential of being promoted. So again, try to change some synonyms. To be able to change job, change job, you can use the word shift or move to another job or what is that? Uh, change a career. So you can use the word you can change the word job to career, all right? So change one's career, um, uh, uh, shift to another um, job, all right? So try to um, think of better um, synonyms, okay? And here, we also have the percentage, okay? So I'd like you to rem remind you of <clears throat> use changing percentage to fraction. Okay, so just a repeat. Okay, if you remember, Tran, what's 40%? How can we change what? this a fraction? Yeah, 
How can we change 40% to a fraction? 40. Yes. Two fifths. Two fifths, right. Very good. Um, hang on. Uh, 38%. Uh, less than a third. Less than a third. Less than a third. 38%? I heard, I heard 30%. Uh, th 38, 38%. Three? 38? Uh, this one, this one, 38. Um, nearly two fifths. Yes, nearly two fifths, okay. How about 20%? Uh, Tran. A Yes, 20% is? A fifth, right? A fifth, okay. How about Ang, 12%? More than one in 10. Yeah, more than one in 10, okay. More than one in 10, very good, very easy. And here, how the cost each course should be shared, okay? Shared, you can also change this uh, to synonym like shared, distributed, paid, okay? Should be paid, should be distributed, yeah? Individual, uh, you can you can uh, uh, change this to uh, students, all right, or individual or learners, because here we have reasons for education. So who study? They are students. So individual here me meaning to say they are students. So students pay forty percent, okay, of the education, right? And a taxpayer, the people, all right. So the taxpayer pay 25%, pay the employer, the bosses, the owner, company owner, pay their students 35% in their studies, okay? Uh, pay the workers who wish to study, all right? 35% of their tuition fee, okay? So for school fee, we can change that to a school fee, tuition fee, all right? Or university fee, all right? So let's move on now to guided practice, okay? So let's start. <clears throat> First, let's begin uh, writing our introduction, okay? So I'd like you to write first introduction. So it's very easy. So what you need to do is just use synonyms. I have introduced to you some of the useful synonyms that we can change, all right? Uh, some, what is that? Some words and phrases here, all right? So, uh, we don't need to mention all. No need to mention all of this in the introduction okay, because it's too long, all right? And for the overview, okay, write both introduction and overview. For the overview, first is you have to identify the trend, okay? So what is the main reason for going to school? So the main reason there is this one, all right? Secondly, you have to identify the relationship and relate this to the highest payer to education. The highest payer to education is this one, right? So identify the relationship and relate this to the highest payer to education, okay? So as you can see, we have here, yes, the main reason for learning is this one, and who pay the most? This one, all right? So you have to relate this highest payer of education to uh, reasons for learning, okay? So I'm gonna give you uh, two minutes, okay, to develop your, your introduction and overview, okay? Introduction and overview. Try to develop this in two minutes and send your answer to my chat box, in, uh, uh, send to me privately, okay?
Okay, so I'll give you one more minute to finish the introduction and overview, all right? So please focus on the quality of your answer. You may check your notes, all right? Again, if you need to, if you need the assistance of your notes, especially uh, the how, how to make the starting, all right? And uh, send your answer to the private message, okay? Then we proceed to writing the body paragraph. Okay, so I have here from Ang, all right. And Tron, given Tron is straight seven different reasons why I don't want to use this word by Tron. Okay, and overview. Uh, Tran, this is a very good introduction, yes? Okay, very good introduction. So please uh, send your overview, that's good. But I have to just edit a little bit about your answer, Ayn, okay? To make it, uh, uh more of a report okay Okay, so this is better, okay? So that's better introduction. Okay, great. So this time I'd like you to work on with your overview, okay? So please submit your overview in another one minute, all right? Okay, so I guess I received now your overview. Let's check from Ang. Okay, so this is a good overview, uh, Tran, but I need you to use again um, complex sentence, okay? And uh, I need you to review, right? complex sentence. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to edit this one.
Okay, so here's my correction, uh, Tran. And then I'm... Mm. Uh, in here, Anne, I'd like you to use a passive voice, okay? So passive voice sounds more formal than active voice, okay? Uh, we haven't studied this one yet, but soon we will study about passive voice, okay? So why we use passive voice? Because they sound more academic, right, than active voice. Okay, or you can say, hmm. okay, you can say, um, Okay. Okay, so shorts but uh, direct iron, okay? Here. Okay, that's it. Short but direct. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. So we have the grouping of information. I have checked your overview. So I'd like you to learn how to make your overview better. Okay. So I I wanted to make your overview short, direct, and um, uh, same meaning with a longer one. Okay. So the shorter the shorter you make, the better the better it presents. All right. Um, as compared to longer ones. Now let's move on to a uh, grouping of information. So we have here body paragraph one, bar graph, body paragraph two is our pie chart, okay? So first sentence, right? Uh, before, I get, before I show the example answer. First sentence, write the general comparison, comparison. So again, our body paragraph one is a bar graph. So let us first delete, okay? The uh, uh, outline here. So first is, uh, Grouping of information, body paragraph one, we have, to we have to present here the bar graph, all right? And in our first sentence, what we need to write is write the general comparison. This means state the main reason for learning, all right? So this means no figure yet, all right? So that is for our first sentence. Then our second sentence is give details or figures of the main reason for learning. So this one, give details. All right, uh, or figures of their main reason for learning and compare this to those who study for career improvement. Career improvement here, this is uh, to improve prospects for promotion, this one. This is career for improvement and leisure. Okay, yellow one, to enjoy learning, this one. So as you can see, all right, that their difference is a half, all right? So that's your second sentence. So again, the first sentence is, all right? First sentence is state the main reason, make general comparison, that's your first sentence. Then your second sentence is, you have to compare this one, this largest proportion, all right? For reasons of going to school to, to these two here, all right? Yeah, that's your second sentence. Then your third sentence here is state the second main reason. So second main reason is this one. Uh, I put square, okay? So for your third sentence, 
say the second main uh, main reason for learning and compare this to change job and meeting people. So we have uh, change job and meeting people. So to meet people is this one. Yep. And change job is green. All right. So to be able to change jobs. So there is a comparison of these two. So in total, yeah, 12 and nine. So compare this one, okay? And then last sentence, uh, where is the last sentence, all right? Um, say the second main reason for learning and compare this to change job and meeting people, all right? Uh, where is our, where is our, um, where is that helpful for current job? Let me review. Okay. Sentence. Mm. And leisure. Okay. Doesn't change job and meeting people. Right. Oh, there is no full sentence, okay. So anyway, um, you can add here uh, one more, all right. Uh, probably you can compare. Yes, I, I think I missed the other portion here. Yes, I missed other portion here, which is 22%, uh, all right. So probably you can uh, combine these three, all right. You can combine these three to compare this to, uh, what is that, compare this to, uh, the highest proportion of those who want to study, okay? So <clears throat> let us do this in three minutes, all right? First body paragraph, three, three to five minutes, okay?
Okay, so I'll give you um, I'll give you uh, two more minutes, right, to uh, finalize your answer in the first body paragraph. Okay, so we have here, here, let me check. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, give a little bit modification to this answer, Anne, okay? Okay, so your uh, output N is good, okay, but I'd just like you to try to make comparisons more, okay? So focus more quite on comparisons than, than, um, than descriptions, okay? And Tran, have you submitted your body paragraph? Okay, I'll give you uh, one more minute, okay, to finish your first body paragraph. I submitted. Oh, you did? Okay. Let me check. Ah, here. Okay.
Okay, this is good. Okay, this is good. All right, this is good, yeah? This is quite good. So um, let's check here an example answer, right? And your homework is to continue the body paragraph two, right? So here's our example answer. <clears throat> for uh, introduction, I think that's quite easy, all right? So for the introduction here, it says, the illustrated bar, bar and pie chart compared the result of a survey on adult education. The first chart summarizes the reasons for studying, while the pie chart indicates the amount of tuition fee shared by students, employers, and taxpayers, okay? As an overview, it clearly shows that going to school is a personal interest, okay? So going to school is personal interest. Uh, interest in subject, okay? So it's personal interest, which is why the largest proportion of the school fee is covered by each individual. So that is why we have here a relationship, all right? So which is why the largest proportion of the school fee is covered by each individual. Now we have the first body paragraph as our first sentence. To start with, having the interest in the course is the main reason for learning. And then details and description, exactly two fifths of individuals enrolled for this reason, while a half of this figure wishes to study for career improvement and for leisure. Another main factor for learning is to obtain qualifications, whereas only less than one in 20 who study for career shift and expanding social network, okay? So I think uh, you have done a great job today, all right? So here's the comparison, okay? Uh, comparison of the example essay to the uh, combination of bar graph and pie chart, okay? So in here, yes, as you can see, all right, as an overview, it clearly shows that going to school is a personal interest here, interest in subject. So it's a personal interest. They like it, all right? No other reasons which is why the largest proportion of school fee is covered by them. So since this is a personal interest, so they have to pay for the school fee, all right? So 40% should be covered by them, all right? So that's how you try to select, um, uh, what is that, a relationship. You, you find how they are connected, okay? How the bar graph, right? How the bar graph and the charts are, what is that related, okay? So for your homework, I'd like you to uh, finish the writing task one by the paragraph two, and we have to cover here uh, the pie charts, okay? So I have uh, showed to you there what to write in the first sentence in here, okay? All right, uh, what to write in our second sentence and uh, what to write also only two sentences, okay? And then I will share to you the example answer. I think uh, in, in your, in the, what is it, in the, in, the, in the file that I sent you, you can find there an example answer, okay? So um, please do the first body paragraph as, no, second body paragraph as your task, okay? And your homework is this one. So you have two homework to do. First is write the first body paragraph, okay? And, oh no, write the second body paragraph of, of, the, uh, of today's activity and this one, okay? So this is a combination of pie charts and a table, all right? So basically, if you try to look at this graph here, uh, you can combine, okay? Uh, you can combine, what is that? You can write this as your uh, body paragraph one, because as you can see, this is a theme park, all right? Okay, so theme park, and the highest proportion here is theme park also, that's 30, 38%. So basically, you can do this one as your first body paragraph. Talk about theme park, so you can combine, all right? And the rest, all right, so the wildlife park, which is not very popular as compared to theme parks, right? So yeah, followed by museums and art galleries and the rest actually didn't have much guests or visitors, all right? So this can be your body paragraph one and uh, museums and art galleries, historic houses and monuments and wildlife can be your body paragraph two, okay? so. 
you can actually divide the top because as you can see, uh, theme park has the highest number of guests or visitors and most of them, most of them go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, all right? And then do some, do some description and uh, description comparison and so on in your first body paragraph, all right? And then the rest of the chart, pie chart, should be your body paragraph too. So why is it, uh, uh, why is it in the, in the previous topic, we divide body paragraph one and body paragraph two because they have different category, okay? They have different category, but here they have the same category, visitors, okay? Guests or tourists, the same category, tourists who go to wildlife, historic houses, museum, they, they are in one category, all right? So that is why we can divide them, all right? Um, we can get body one from body, uh, what is that, pie charts and, and table in body paragraph one, and uh, the remaining, what is that, uh, the remaining attractions in the pie chart should be in the body, body paragraph two, okay? So take note of that. Uh, this is your homework. So developed an introduction, overview, all right? Body paragraph one and body paragraph two and submit your homework to my email, okay? On or before our next lesson. Okay, so our next lesson will be on Tuesday. Uh, it's uh, at uh, five to 7 p.m., all right? So again, submit that um prior to the start of our next lesson okay so is your lunch ready yes yes no. That's no not yet okay okay so don't forget your homework right and uh, study well and uh, study smart okay yeah see you next meeting Bye -bye. all nice right goodbye